The first Punic War was fought between Rome and Carthage from 264 to 241 BCE. It began as a dispute over control of Sicily and quickly turned into a major conflict in, 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 involving naval and land battles. Rome ultimately emerged victorious, securing control of Sicily and becoming a dominant Mediterranean power. The war also saw significant innovations in, na in naval technologies and tactics, with Rome developing a new navy capable of challenging Carth Carthaginian nobunates at sea, which ultimately led to... The Second Punic War was fought between Rome and Carthage from 218 to 201 BC. It was sparked by the Carthaginian general Hannibal's invasion of Italy, where he won several impressive victories against Roman armies. However, Rome eventually regained the upper hand, launching a counter-invasion of North Africa that forced Carthage to sue for peace. The war resulted in Rome establishing dominance over the western Mediterranean and marked the decline of Carthage as a major power. Hannibal's military tactics and strategies continue to be study studied and admired to this day. Which ultimately leads to... The Third Punic War was fought between Rome and Carthage from... 149 to 146 BCE. It was sparked by the Rome's desire to completely destroy Carthage, despite the city having already been reduced to a shadow of its former self. After a three-year siege, Rome finally succeeded in sacking and destroying Carthage, and effectively ending the Punic Wars and erasing the city from history. The war marked a turning point in Roman, Roman history as Rome emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean and began its transition from a republic to an empire. Rome emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean. Julius Caesar and his successors established the Roman Empire, bringing stability, prosperity, and cultural achievements. The empire faced challenges, but reached reached its peak under Trajan in the second century A.D. and continued to flourish until the third century A.D. The factors contributing to its eventual decline are complex, but include political instability, social inequality, and military overstretch. The decline began in the 3rd century AD and led to the eventual collapse of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD. The Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire, continued for several more centuries despite its decline. Rome left a lasting legacy in language, law, architecture, religion, and culture that continues to influence the modern world to this day. Byzantine Empire, also known as the Eastern Roman Empire, emerged after the fall of the Western Roman Empire. It lasted for over a thousand years, centered on the city of Constantinople, now Istanbul, and incorporating territories in Europe, Africa, and Asia. The Byzantine Empire faced numerous challenges, including wars, plagues, economic crises, and political conflicts. Nevertheless, it achieved significant cultural and artistic achievements including impressive architecture, literature, and philosophy. It also played a crucial role in preserving and transmission, transmitting classical learning to medieval to the medieval West. The empire eventually succumbed to the Ottoman Turkish conquest in 1453, but its legacy continued to influence the world to this day.